Good afternoon. My name is John Thompson. I'm with 10-8 Fire Equipment. I'm the sales rep for the city of Tampa. Today I'm going to walk around and show you a couple features on Tampa's Quantum Mid-Mount 95 platform. Starting out in the front, we have a 13-inch extended bumper. The overall length of this truck is just over 47 feet, so we wanted to keep it as short as possible. That's why we went with the 13-inch front bumper extension. Walking into the cab, this cab set up to be a five-person cab. You'll notice on the quantum we have the roll-down steps, for low overall stepping distances into and out of the cab. We have the command zone electronics so the driver can see everything that's open door signals, fuel levels, RPMs. Going into the crew cab, we have seating for three in the back. We have an ALS cabinet. This truck has a flat roof on it. It also has a 110 AC, so when they're when they're in the fire department, because Florida is such a hot climate, they can keep their truck their truck plugged in, and it stays 76 degrees at all times. Going back to the uh, the actual outriggers, we have an 18 foot footprint when the front outriggers are out, and a 16 foot imprint when the rear outriggers are out. The truck can be short jacked, meaning if they're in a situation where there's cars next to them, uh, at 11 foot 8, it can be short jacked and whatever side the truck is short jacked to, the aerial will only operate to that side of the truck. There is no, there is no pump or tank on this truck. There is a 10K generator, which all the electrical components are located in this compartment. It's actually got 30 degree swing down style steps to access the, the uh, aerial operator's platform. Because it doesn't have a, a pump, we've got an inlet on each side of the truck to be fed from another pumper. There's air bottle storage on this side and the other side for six air bottles. Something kind of unique to the city of Tampa, they they get they have a lot of tight streets, so they run uh, they run rubber fender crowns instead of chrome. They're easier to be replaced. Some custom compartmentation. In this compartment, they'll be hanging uh, rolls of bisqueen so they can easily access for salvage, cut them off, and just keep it in there instead of stacking it in a compartment. A 30 degree tilt down shelf, a stationary adjustable shelf, or an adjustable shelf, I should say, and a floor mounted 500 pound slide out tray. Here, 500 pound adjustable tool boards here for hanging tools on. Now we're at the rear, the, the rear compartment, the torque box section for the ladder storage. We have over 115 feet of ground ladders in this truck. This is where the operator sets the aerial up, puts the outriggers out, and raises the aerial. Pipe poles, uh, special Stokes basket, storage area, rear traffic advisory, rear vision camera that can be seen by the driver through the command zone screen that you saw earlier in the front. This is our only five section ladder, so um, it, it's lower overall height. It's 10 feet, 11 inches high. And uh, it's gonna be serving a lot of areas that have a lot of low lying trees. So that's one of the reasons they went with this, the mid-mount platform. Each compartment has dual LED lighting strips in it. Thank you today for taking a virtual tour with me, and if you need any more information, you can go to PierceMFG.com.